Welcome back to video number three. There's some more problems with the bag company. We're just gonna jump in and cover it. This is a little bit of a shorter video. Let's jump in and cover, shall we? Let's go. We all know that Megan is a minority stakeholder in a company called Cresta Collective. It's a handbag brand. They take baskets woven by craftspeople in Rwanda, send them to Italy to do whatever to them, and then sell them anywhere from $490 up to almost $900. As I've told you before, uh, they pay these women like $250 a month is, all, and that's supposed to be this fabulous salary because where they live, the salary is not that good. Well, now the brand is being criticized over insensitive campaign imagery and a potentially problematic company uh, ethos. So as I'm researching for this article, I'm in Newsweek and they brought up this Instagram person and even put a link to her TikTok. She has TikTok and Instagram, I'm telling you. And she, this woman, put up a lengthy criticism of Sesta Collective to her followers on the 31st. And what she says was, and I'm quoting, I thought we had collectively decided that Western women using African women as props to enhance their own image was inappropriate, but apparently we haven't. <laughs> she put out this video and it had already received over 11,000 likes. So remember, one of the big issues about the promotion of this brand is the fair wage ethics without transparency on how much every artisan actually receives for their work. And then the owners of the company gave the New York Times some pictures showing the co-founders sitting on a bench surrounded by these craftswomen who were on the floor. So this Georgie woman writes, you know, images matter. Here we have two Western women sitting on a bench with the R Rwandan women gazing up at them. And it's inappropriate to use these women as a marketing tactic for your brand, especially when they're not full-time employees, nor do they have any ownership of the brand. This isn't charity. You are not saving these women. You're doing what you're supposed to do, which is pay them a living wage so they can support their families. And she finished it up by saying, and I could not... I could not agree with this anymore. These women should not be used to make shopaholic Western women feel better for purchasing yet another handbag they don't need. That's what we call poverty porn. It's barely okay when charities do it, completely inappropriate for when profit businesses do it. Cut it out. You can see the price of the green bag there on the right. And of course, Megan was seen running, it's, I don't even, can't even tell you where she was at this point, running around with that same bag. And we all know that she's doing that because she's merching the products that she's invested in, which of course, you know, she can make money for. Now, we all saw her wearing this bag, Panna, during her tour of Columbia last month. That bag starts at $750. We saw her wearing the bag while she was in Invictus and at a private dinner in Germany in 2023. These bags are ridiculously expensive. We've, we've seen her merching the bags, essentially. Because of all the backlash, on September 3rd, three days after the other post that was up on Instagram, Sesta Collective posted a statement reaffirming their dedication to the craftswomen and their ethical practice. And they said, you know, we're dedicated to collaborating with talented female artisans who are experts in their craft. We are meticulous with every detail in making of our products from our craftsmanship and material selection to our unwavering ethical standards and fair compensation practices. Thank you for joining us on this journey and we're so glad you're here. But they never really addressed the problem. What it comes down to is Megan and the people at this bag company have been accused of exploiting people that are in poverty. Well, I found one of the comments very interesting. They said, and I'm quoting, Meghan Markle thinks she's progressive, but every move she makes is to get richer. The royal family may be trash, but so is she. And then somebody else wrote, I agree. It would look better if they invested in the local community their staff lived in for schools and scholarships, but 43 pounds a week, that just doesn't sit right with me. 
They're not transparent in their prices. I mean, everybody's like, oh, well, the stuff goes off to Italy. Yes, it does. But how do you know that the stuff that's being put on the bag is top notch? Here's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. These bags were woven. They paid the artisan approximately $80. And the only thing added is a strap and maybe some lining inside. And suddenly they're selling it for over $800. Now, recently, also in order to help, they added some information about their head weaver on their website. Let me tell you what it says. I am the primary income provider in my family. Before, I didn't always know if I could afford food if the crops failed or medicine in the case of an emergency. Now, I can comfortably say I'm able to pay for a hospital visit, medical treatment, or additional food if needed. The increased income made it easy for me to get loans, which I use to build my house, invest in land, and purchase livestock. I aspire to have a lasting impact on my family and community to work to lift others up. I'm not going to lie. Those statements scare me because basically she can't leave this company because now she's got loans that she has to pay. And if they get rid of her, what's she supposed to do? Well, she could sell her own products on Etsy. Think about it. If she weaves one basket a week and sells it on Etsy for a hundred and something dollars each, like these people are doing, these artisans are doing, she can actually make more money than she's making working for that company. I don't understand why this company is using the women this way. I just think it's terrible. Now, there is a rumor flying around that Sesta Collective brand might drop Meghan Markle. You really can't drop somebody once they've put in a certain amount of money into your company. That is unless you plan on giving them back their money. And as I've told you guys before, the owner is being sued for not paying her American Express card. She owes over $120,000. I don't know if Megan doesn't do her research or if she does it and just doesn't care. You know what I'm saying? Hmm, very interesting. All right, you guys, you know what to do. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell for all notifications. Yes, I know it's a waste of your time, but do it anyway. Then go down into the description box where you'll find the links to my Twitter, my Getter, my Rumble, my email, my Amazon wish list, my Patreon, which is currently paused. Don't forget to leave those comments. And if you've donated anything to my coffee fund, thank you so much. And as always, you guys, have a great day. Oh,